really want y'all to understand the, the lengths that I went through to get y'all this jump shot because some of the jump shots, um, some of them, they might be too fast, might be too slow, might be something that you're not used to. But this one, this one is gonna be just right. Got an easy tail, very easy to read, and you're just gonna be able to shoot it and be a shooter shooter with this jumper, man. So. Still murky, come on. Oh, never lose. Good evening out there, 2K land. Man, check this out, man. I got a jump shot for y'all. It is the pH to resistance of jump shots. I'm telling you. Like, now, I am going to put out another one but, uh, next week or in the next couple of days because I'm always looking for something for y'all, man. But I really want y'all to understand the, the lengths that I went through to get y'all this jump shot because... Some of the jump shots, um, some of them, they might be too fast, might be too slow, might be something that you're not used to. But this one, this one is gonna be just right. Got an easy tail, very easy to read, and you're just gonna be able to shoot it and be a shooter shooter with this jumper, man. So make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all. Oh, uh, before we get started, though, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all, man. So what we're trying to do, I tried to go into there and find y'all a little jump shot that is really easy to be able to tell. He doesn't jump too high. He doesn't do a whole lot of stuff. It ain't a whole lot of this and that. It's just shooting the ball. And so I'm, I'm going to be using this one instead. Y'all know I was using uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope. But this one just looks, it's just, it's a little bit smoother. And he just goes up with it. And I don't know how I smoked that one right there. He just really just goes up with it, man. Listen, if y'all can help me get the two, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off the spot. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all this, some shooting tips and all of that good stuff. If y'all could go ahead and just like the video, let's get the 200 likes within the first uh, 1500 views. That will help me out tremendously. That'll help the, you know, the channel grow and all that. I'm gonna keep hitting y'all off with jump shots. I know I was supposed to drop a 610 jump shot. My boy Hezzy, he got off and I wasn't able to uh, get that for y'all. So I made the, the closest thing that I could make to uh, to something like that. And that is this one. This jump shot, real good, real smooth. And uh, we're gonna show it to you real quick. And this is what it is, man. So to get this jump shot, you gotta have at least a 79 three ball, which, which I wish I could have got it down to 78. I think we can make some moves and get it down to 78, but Let's see, we're gonna go back and forth. See, if you go this way, it'll get it up to 80. And you can get eight, you can get uh, your defensive immunity up, but you're gonna lose some lose some shot speed, right? So you can come back here and go 50-50 with it, but it's gonna be at 80. I like it, I like the looks of it here at 66, uh, whatever. And it's a 79 three ball, that's what you need. And this is Penny Hardaway. All you gotta do is be 6'5 to 6'9 with a 79 three ball, Penny Hardaway. Um, Bam Adebayo and RJ Barrett is the base. So the components of this that you must be, uh, that you gotta have, you know, more stuff uh, is, is gonna be RJ Barrett. Uh, you gotta have at least a, a 76 three point shot. So you can still use this if you got other stuff. Bam, you just gotta be at least 6'5". And then Penny Hardaway, you gotta be under 6'10". So the big, the, the, the part of this that really is the, the biggest thing. If y'all want me to find something that looks good and it's just like this, and um, you know, with without any, uh, what do you call it? Without any of the restrictions, just let me know. But this is it. RJ Barrett is the base. Um, Bam Adebayo is release one, release two, Penny Hardaway, 66, uh, 30, uh, 66, 34 toward Bam. And you look at this, like, like this time stability. Is, is good enough, but the shot speed and the defensive immunity, really good. So we're gonna go, as cause y'all know, I don't like shooting in here as much, even though I'm not missing in here, we're gonna go to the practice facility and show y'all what's going on. And I got it on set point too, man. And I'm shooting on Hall of Fame or whatever it is. I don't think it matters. And I think you're always on Hall of Fame in there. So I don't think that matters quite as much, but I wanna show y'all the controller settings. Uh, set point, is uh is what we're on you can be on push or whatever but i'm on set point and the 
the cue is when you see his hand turn over and it's gonna go kind of behind his head. But we're gonna go, like I said, I gotta show y'all some more shooting tips and all that stuff, man. Like I said, to make this really work, this is what I got on. I'm an off ball player and I shoot, I mean, I shoot off the ball, right? So I wanna show y'all a couple of more tricks in here. So my motion style is Kawhi Leonard. Um, but I don't like for him to bring the ball down. So my triple threat style is Joel Embiid. And with the Joel Embiid, you see, you see this is a normal triple threat style. With Joel Embiid, you're up here with the triple threat. So you're always gonna be shooting from a different position. Somebody told me that you can also, one thing you, you can also do, you can go into the animation store and you can go with your uh, dribble style. And if you change your dribble style, then that will also, uh, that'll also help you out. So we go to playmaking moves, dribble styles, and see the only dribble styles that I can get are normal and basic. So I don't know which one I have on right now, but you see normal is there, basic is a little more up. So if that's something that you want to do, or that's something that you're, that you're interested in doing, then make sure you do that. But we said normal is, normal is, the what's it call it, basic is the other one. So my dribble style, we're gonna go to basic uh, with that because again, you see that normal, he's bent over. Basic, he's gonna be up a little bit more normal. You see how he just stays now. So anything that got your player as close to when he's going to shoot the ball as possible, that's what we want. So dribble threat style and dribble style are important. I don't know how I was able to see some of the other dribble styles, but with those other dribble styles, it was just like, um, like uh, I think you had like James Harden and and uh, uh, Kobe was a good one. Um, uh, Steph was was good, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get any of those. And like I said, those triple threat styles, you can you can use different triple threat styles, but like I said, I like the Joel Embiid because he almost stands straight up. So now we're gonna go over here and show y'all how to practice your catch and shoot because a lot of people don't know how to practice the catch and shoot. I want to I'm gonna put this in every video because I know that a lot of people they they ask all the time you know how how do you do it so what you do you got to come into the practice facility make sure you got a practice available you hit B you go over to shooting right and then when you get to shooting you do the one minute three point challenge now it doesn't matter what you choose because you're not gonna do the whole thing and when you get to this point you're either gonna hit X or square and then that's it and so you can get in here. And these guys will just, will just, uh, they're just gonna throw you the ball, and you can just shoot the ball, and, and like I said, just get your, get your release down, uh, to a T. A lot of people, you know, they were telling me that, yo, uh, the, the uh, release, or whatever in here, is gonna be different. And yes, it is gonna be different. But while it's gonna be different, um, the cue will be the same. So you shouldn't be shooting off of, uh, you should not be shooting off timing anyway. You should be shooting off your cue. That's what you should be shooting off of. You should know, you should be able to look up here and tell uh, where you should be letting the ball go. And what I try to do, I'm probably too deep off that one, but what I try to do, that the reason I came up with this jump shot is, I like Caldwell Pope, but it still, it still wasn't as fluid for me as I liked. So, and I can see this one a whole lot better. And being able to see it a whole lot better, when you're done, you just hit it again and do the same thing. Being able to see this release a whole lot better and having more time to get rid of it and get it out of my hands uh, from what I like to see, uh, yeah, this is this is this has been really good for me. And like I said, playing in that theater, it really, it's really different playing in that theater because you have to, you, you kind of just got to know, like those guys are terrible in there. You're not going to get good shots. You're not going to get open shots. And it just, I'm, I'm off on that one. I'm, uh, let's see, with this one, it feel like I can't even be late because I was being late a lot of times with my other one. And with this one, it feels like I can't be late. And that's what I want because they said you got to shoot toward that, the back of that, uh, the back of that window now. And with this, it just feels so much better. And like I said, you will be surprised at what you can create as far as jump shots. I knew I was slightly late on that one. You will be surprised at what you can create as far as jump shots go 
in the jump shot creator because looking at this jump shot that I have, like, bro, you sh it shouldn't be able to be like this. But when I show y'all the components of it, like, y'all will be like, what? You were able to make that with that? And I'm like, yeah, I was. And it's weird, but that's just how it goes, man. But like I said, these are the shooting tips that y'all need. Make sure you change your dribble style, change your change the dribble style, change the triple threat style if you're having trouble, if you feel like he's dropping the ball too low, all that good stuff. But look at the components uh, that we that we use for this joint, man. And I keep hitting the wrong button, man. Look at the components that we use in order to get this jump shot. Like, look, RJ Barrett, speed is a C. Bam, B minus, and a C minus. And we were able to get an A minus jump shot out of that. So don't be afraid. Look at that. Speed C, speed B minus, speed C minus. And we still were able to get an A minus uh, speed jump shot out of that. So like I said, you got to go in here and look at this stuff and study it. But y'all don't have to because I'm going to do that for y'all, man. So make sure y'all like the video. Comment your thoughts down below. Like I said, hopefully we can get to, uh, you know, we're trying to go to the moon with this thing, man. If you have any other questions, let me know. We will be dropping the 610 jump shot on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. And I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.